everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and I've got a process video for you today for the Off the Board with Pineapple Papers Challenge. This is the Pinterest pin that I will be doing and I'm also kind of doubling up because I'm using the second sketch from uh, Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Scrap Timber. Um, so if you want to play along with all those sketches, they're still up in the 30 Days of Sketches Facebook group. Uh, it's free to join and it's really fun. So. Let me talk to you about this first half of the video. Um, the pin that I'm using for the off the board challenge is this one that I think came from Studio Calico. Um, I pinned it so many years ago, probably like back when Pinterest first started. This is how long I've had this pin on my scrapbook and cards board. And it's so easy. <laughs> it's one of those things that you look at and you're like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Um, and I've done, I, I didn't really do it exactly the way it showed here in the in the, the photo but I do like that it gives you you know step-by-step -step instructions so you know what to do to do like create your own little chevron pattern um, so what I did was because I already punched out a bunch of squares from my scrap paper I just went into the tiny square scrap bin and found some pa papers most of them are Amy Tangerine Brave and Bold I think some of them are also Studio Tectorec but they kind of had the similar, like similar colors. Uh, and so I thought, okay, these will be perfect to cut them in half and make them into little triangles. And then I will set them up and create sort of, um, you know, sort of a, like a little pattern. I didn't have enough to do, um, you know, the same pattern. I, I guess I could have, but I, I wasn't really, I wasn't really thinking that hard about this. I just wanted to create like a fun little triangle pattern going in a diagonal across the page as was shown in the sketch. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, and so it doesn't end up looking exactly like, you know, a chevron because I think you're supposed to have um, the same pattern triangle on top and then it goes down, that same pattern goes down, a different pattern on top, that same different pattern goes down, blah, 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 whatever. Um, so, so yeah, I didn't do that. But I did create something and I'm still in the process of creating it. Uh, I thought, oh no, I, I already put these down. I have them placed where I want them. They're not adhered, but I'm like, I really want some mixed media on this and I am not going to remove all of these things and then try to piece them back down. So I just did some packaging technique with um, shimmers, don't rain in my parade. It's a really pretty like dark navy color and I thought that would go well. Um, because the prompt for the scrap timber second day challenge is black and white. So I do have two black and white photos that I'm going to be adding. Um, I don't have any black and white or black misting spray, so I couldn't do mixed media with that. Um, so that's why I went with the, the darkest, the very darkest color that I think I had in my stash is that navy blue color. So that's why I went with that. Now off camera, I used uh, tacky glue to, or no, yeah, I used Eileen's tacky glue, clear tacky glue to um, adhere all of my little chevron triangle pieces. And you can see that I actually added two more rows to make it a little bit thicker. I think it has a cool like quilted vibe going for it. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, and then you can see now, since I've, I have successfully completed the off the board portion of this challenge, now I'm going to try to complete the uh, Scrap Timber se uh, second day sketch. Um, so yeah, this is day two, and obviously this video is going up at the end of September, but there were, you know, however many days there are in September 30, then there are also 30 um, sketches for September that you can play along with. So at the time that I was making this video, I was only on day two. <laughs> um, and so, But I really wanted to use the sketch and I wanted to try to get as many of those sketches done as I could this month. Um, so yeah, it's, it was a fun challenge and I'm glad that I am um, attempting to, or I attempted to participate this month. I feel like I've been part of the group for a while, but um, I don't know. I. I don't always get notifications for when this like stuff is posted, um, and that's probably more Facebook's algorithm, I guess, than anything else. And then just me not not remembering to check back and see and um, and see what's you know what's new uh, in the group. So I need to be better about that. That because I really enjoy. Obviously, you know, I love sketches. I love a good scrap lift. Um, so yeah, what I am doing here with these photos is I have two black and white photos and one color photo. I was going to make them all black and white because I wanted to go along with the prompt, but I decided that only two of them should be black and white because this is for, these photos were taken for a Disney bound Star Wars challenge. And see that middle photo that's in color, I'm popping it up with some foam squares so that it, um, has dimension over the, the layering 
of the two other photos. And I really wanted, I really wanted to, you to be able to see the color of the photo because um, the character I'm dressing up as, the, the, the prompt for the Disney Bound Challenge was the light side. So you had to pick a character who was not evil, <laughs> basically. And I'm like, what, what do I have in my closet that I can wear that would translate to like, a Star Wars good guy and I have this maroon maxi dress and I'm like I really really want to wear this dress for something for this Star Wars Disney bound challenge and this was the last prompt I hadn't worn it yet hadn't come up with anything yet um, I think I have some other process videos for some of the other photos that I took for this challenge so definitely um, look for those in my playlist in my video uh, my video list here on the blog or on the channel. Um, so I basically, I think I googled like Star Wars maroon dress character or something like that. And it came up with Queen Amidala from um, Star Wars Phantom Menace. How, remember when she, she goes into disguise and she kind of wears like a maroon dress thing and there's like a hood um, so I thought, well, that's who I'll dress up as. So I did the maroon dress. I had a maroon hoodie that I put on over for the hood. And then I had this orange visor. I got it at like a Mets game. It was one of the free giveaways. Um, so I put that on cause the, there's a, when you look at the, I should have put, taken a picture of Queen Amidala in disguise, but I didn't. But when you look at a picture, when they've got the hoods up, it, it does look like there's sort of like a, um, like a visor part that comes out because their their faces are kind of in shadow or kind of um, hidden a little bit. So that's that's what I did. Three pieces from my wardrobe and I put on some like gladiator sandals. Um, and that's who I was for this challenge. So I wanted, it felt like if I kept all the photos in black and white, you weren't going to know, you weren't going to have any idea just from looking at them what I was doing or who, what the character I was going for. So I thought maybe if I keep one in the color, you'll be like, oh, I, I can see that now is the colors look similar. <laughs> So yeah, um, to go along with these photos, I did back them on some navy cardstock from my scrap bin. Um, and I went navy because I have the navy misting spray behind it. I'm adding some stickers from Photoplay Wicker Lane, I think it's called. And then from the May Paper Issues Kit, I had the Paige Evans Wonders Flower Ephemera, which are just beautiful. Um, and I think I thought the colors went really well with the Amy Tangerine papers that I had. And then I'm doing a two word title using two different types of American craft stickers. Some, the, the yes word is puffy. And then the queen is, um, or I guess the yes is like a puffy foam and the queen is just like a puffy plastic, I guess. And I did have to Google how to spell yes queen because I thought like, does it have multiple A's? Does it have multiple S's? How many does it need? And the only thing I could find was um, that it appears that instead of just yes, queen, it's you just substitute the E for the A. Um, and because I was dressed as Queen Amidala, I thought that would be um, an appropriate title. So yes, queen. I don't even know if that's how you say it because I don't think I've actually ever heard anyone say it. But I know it's a thing. Um, I'm... I'm not that old. <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about the layout. Um, there's also this really great uh, little ephemera sequins mix packet in the Paper Issues May kit that I recently purchased. Um, and you will see that in an upcoming scrapbook haul video. But I had to I had to start working with it right away. I just couldn't wait. Um, and I love that it was still in stock. I think it's still in stock as of me filming this voiceover. And I think the August kit is still in stock too. So check those out on paper issues. Um, so I'm just going through, I added those beautiful sequins and then I stuck them down with mini glue dots. And now I'm just adding a few other Amy Tangerine Brave and Bold stickers because uh, I just kind of want to build out a little bit more around that photo play sticker. It says progress, not perfection, which I thought was kind of fitting because, um, you know, I a lot of people who do the Disney Bound challenges, they must have like a wardrobe closet uh, or a costume closet because they come up with some amazing things. And I'm over here like, I've got a t-shirt and some jeans. How do I make that into a character? Um, so yeah, I, I, I thought I did a, a pretty decent job. Was it a perfect job for the whole Disney Bound challenge in May? No, but I did what I, I did what I could given what I have. So I'm gonna add a few more stickers here. Um, there was a, that little corkboard piece that I'm struggling to get the red tape onto. Um, that came in the Paper Issues May kit, and it says, this was good, 
<laughs> so again, I thought that was kind of fitting. And if I and I really, it's made of cork. It's very flexible. And I thought I'm, I was going to need something stronger, a stronger adhesive. But that red tape did not want to stick to the cork. And then it tried to it tried to break the cork piece. So I just went ahead and put my, I just left it. I'm like, I'm not going to try peeling it off. It's just going to make it worse. So I just put my regular, adhe two adhesive um, squares on there. And I think that's going to be fine to keep it down. You never know with stuff that's not like a non-traditional type of material for embellishments. So many embellishments are paper or um, like a plastic. And it's very easy to say, well, I'll just use my glue dots or I'll use the red tape or my adhesive squares. Um, and some, sometimes when you get different type of material, you're like, oh, now what do I do? But the adhesive squares, uh, I think, are going to work. So I'm just going to do my journaling. It's and going to be very long because I have to, of course, explain <laughs> explain the character and um, and who I am. So it's a little bit longer than um, I feel like I, I gave space for, but that's okay. And then I'm going to try to do some splatters. Always cover your photos before you do splatters. Um, and using the same misting spray that I used for the packaging technique and man, oh man, that shimmer stuff. I think it's like the angle of the, the plastic thingy that the pump, um, it just does not, did not want to splatter very well. So I ended up, uh, the splatters turned out okay. Not all of them are the greatest, but, um, yeah, it's, it's mixed media and I feel like you can't, there's no like perfect mixed media. You just do mixed media and it's, it's just perfect because in essence, like, Anything that you do looks good with mixed media sometimes. I know not everyone has that um, I, uh, opinion, but that's somehow I think. There's no mistakes in mixed media or scrapbooking. Everything is an opportunity to create and make it better and be creative. And that's the end of this video. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!